workers who ply their trade on dangerous terrain along the nation roads earn their income through close interaction with the public, many times dodging traffic on the busy highways. But with the imposition of lockdowns to contain the spread of the COVID-19 virus, the strict public health regulations have threatened not just the livelihoods but the very survival of the vendors and their families. With the removal of the state of emergency, we tried to find out how their trade was affected by the pandemic and whether they will take advantage of the extended hours to peddle their goods to make ends meet. Pineapple, pineapple, three for 60 and one for 30. This is the shrill pineapple call of a pineapple vendor, hawking the popular seasonal fruit while slipping between vehicles at traffic lights on busy main roads and on highways. One vendor who goes by the name of Rishi works every day and said sales have decreased drastically. He dropped very bad. So the sales has dropped really bad. Yeah, yeah. And how are you coping with that? Well, at the end of the day, we had a little bit who's going to survive. Okay, and with the, uh, how long do you guys stay out here? What hours do you work? Well, I reach here 6 o'clock in the morning and I leave here 3 4 o'clock. Is it every day? Every day. And with the, with the state of emergency lesson today, would yeah. you be staying back longer hours? Well, not really. Not really. I could have purchased some. So I'd rather be the traffic. He said he adapts to changes and improvises according to the unpredictable weather conditions just to earn a daily wage. But we adapt. You adapt? Yeah. And in what ways? Can you Well, elaborate? like we body got immune to the sun already, so we really feel the heat again. And the rain, when the rain falls, we go in the Atlantic Island shelter. One of the tricks of the trade and a challenge for the vendors is to make their sale before the traffic light turns from red to green. Another spin-off involves young men armed with their squeakies seen cleaning the windscreen of vehicles. They are easily recognized as motorists away the green lights. Fitzlawrence Augustine, a favorite at the U.S. St. Augustine intersection on the Churchill Roosevelt Highway, said he is grateful for what he earns each day working from morning to evening. It's a favorite out there, so I really can't say if it will be less or more, but to me it's like uh, once I come out and I make something, you know, I still appreciate it by anything I make now. Another traffic-like vendor who sells pepper, tomatoes and other fresh produce said the drop in sales has caused some much anxiety and uncertainty about the volume of goods she is able to transact at the end of the day. We did, normally we just sell a lot more, but now we sell in less. We just be here out here like from 8, sometimes we just come out like 9, accordingly we run market and how, yeah, we just reach about 9, 10 and thing. She usually works until 8 o'clock at night. But with the lifting of the state of emergency, she plans to work later hours. I am Celine Bansidal, reporting for MCTV News.